All right, today we have a budget-friendly ground mount system from EcoWorthy. All right, guys, and as you can see, I've already began assembling part of it. Let's go ahead and open up the box and I'll show you the other parts here. So we've got these links of Unistrut, which are, uh, which basically go across these. These are the, the feet and the Unistrut goes across these and then your panels will <laughs> set on it. It's that simple. And then in the hardware here, it actually comes with all the wrenches that you need. I think there was one more. There we go. It comes with the tools that you need to assemble it. It has your panel clamps. So these are the mid clamps. And then it has the end clamps for the solar panels. And this is the upgraded model. From what I understand, the upgraded model is taller so this front leg is higher up and this back leg is higher up so it's lifting your panels up off the uh, ground uh, even higher uh, and I guess that's so you could use larger panels and this particular kit actually is their large kit so it comes with two of their regular sets so right now I'm only assembling one set, uh, but this large set does come with two of them. And then I think this box contains the components to piece them together. But right now I think I'm only gonna put together uh, just one. And I've picked up some lumber so I could build a base for this. I'm actually going to put casters on this base so it could be moved around. Uh, to assemble this base, I've got these six inch structural screws. And these I just picked up at the home improvement store. These are just four by four by six foot. So three of those. And then these are two by fours by four foot. They were already cut. So I'm gonna put it together just like this. I didn't have to do any cutting. Uh, the only thing that I did do is I drilled some pilot holes to put my screws in. So let's go ahead and start assembling this. All right, so that's together. That was super simple. All right, so let's get the casters on this now. All right, there we go. We've got casters on it. All right, you guys. I'm getting ready to install these legs here, these side leg brackets, whatever you want to call them. I went ahead and marked the location and did a pilot hole for these. All right, there we have it. We've got those portions installed. Now those big screws I uh, used to mount this down to the base, 
those are just some leftover ones that I had from something else. Uh, the kit comes with these expanding bolts. All right, so I need to mention uh, this portion right here. So as you can see, I added these uh, scrap two by fours that I had laying around uh, to make a floor for this portion. <laughs> and my idea is that I'd like to put something back here. It could be uh, one thing that comes to mind is these five gallon buckets that I've got my vegetables growing out of. I could put those back there. I'm not sure exactly how well they'll work, but I like the idea of having a place to possibly store items or just make, make a dual purpose use for this object that's gonna be taking up a portion of my yard. <laughs> All right, so next up, we need to put these lengths of uni strut across. And these come in three sections that have to be mated with these little uh, brackets here. So there's one section, two, and three. And so I've already put this one together. I need to put together another uh, section and then we'll put the two on. All right, there we go. I got both of those rails on. Super simple. And if you guys have never used this kind of strut before, it just uses these, uh, these little nuts that go in and you can go ahead and put this on your your strut and then once you place it into this slot you have to spin it like this and then it catches and then you can just tighten it up and it just friction just holds it in place after you tighten it up so it's super simple now of course uh, as always my OCD kicked in on these uh, screws that I had found uh, that I had left over uh, and I, I didn't quite like I guess that these had this little small lip on them to actually grip on to hold this on so I found these other ones that I had uh, that have this larger washer on it so I put those on at least the back side of all four uh, just makes a more solid contact alright so there's another addition to this upgraded kit and it's this center brace so they now include this extra brace on this upgraded kit and that is really good because you know there's a pretty decent span between these end legs here and this center brace is really making this center of these rails uh, much more rigid all right, and we've got these caps that go on the end here. All right, so I'm ready to put some panels on. And as you see, I have this one just temporarily clamped in place. As you can see, I've got these uh, little clamps just holding the edge. And so that'll hold this one in place while I'll take another one of these panels and put next to it. And then I can tighten up these center clamps. And then that should hold those in place and I could remove these temporary clamps there. Uh, when you're doing this, when you're putting your panels on, you also want to make sure that you're pretty square uh, with your panel and the rail because if it's angled, it'll be angled on all panels and you'll notice it. <laughs> so I've got three of these panels. Uh, let me plot one next to this and uh, see if we can't get that in place. All 
All right, those should be holding. I can now put my end clamps over here. All right, so I got those two on. I can remove these uh, temporary clamps now. I should be able to easily put my third panel on, tighten up the mid clamps, and then put the end clamps on. All right, guys, there it is. It's complete. I got the three panels on. It's all together. You can roll it. And then back here, I've got a couple extra buckets with some vegetable plants in it. Fits right there perfectly. I think I could get six of those buckets across if I measured properly. But uh, yeah, you could put other things, bricks or something. I'm not sure how well uh, the plants grow on this one. They do very well on this one because uh, it gets the morning sun on that side, then it gets the evening and afternoon sun on this side. Maybe. Uh, plants that like half shade would be happy back here I'm not sure I'll experiment with it though now as always whenever you build something like this this non-fixed ground mount you definitely want to be considered of the wind <laughs> uh, you don't want it launching your your solar panels off or flipping them over I'm not sure how much weight you would need back here to ballast this to keep that from happening. Uh, I'm sure engineers know that kind of thing. That's not me. Yeah, maybe you could do things like, uh, in addition to the weight, maybe some kind of ground anchor. I'm not sure. That's something you guys would have to figure out, but definitely uh, keep that in mind. The wind could take this thing and launch it off. <laughs> Alright guys, I think that's going to be it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. This was a fun weekend project for me. I do like this ground mount system. Uh, it was a joy to put together, actually. Alright, as always, I'll leave links down in the description. Let me know what you think about this setup. And I'll catch you on the next one.